If you can find the North Star in our night sky, then you will possess a skill that over 70% of your fellow human beings do not have. So let's take a moment to see just how easy finding Polaris, our North Star, can be. Welcome to Your Sky Tonight. I'm Tony Darnell. There's no better way to get your bearings and locate your place on the planet Earth than by looking up at a clear, dark night sky. Immediately above you is a stellar snapshot containing patterns that can, at a glance, tell you what hemisphere you're on, how close to the poles or equator you are, what season you are in and the time of year, and finally, the cardinal directions, north, south, east, and west. That's a lot of information, and this tapestry, woven with countless stars, has been used by our ancestors since the very beginning. The motions and patterns of the heavens have long guided us, and will continue to do so for as long as we can see them. So let's begin our journey towards understanding these patterns and motions by looking for one of the most important celestial signposts, the North Star, or Polaris. It is a common misconception that Polaris is one of the brightest stars in the sky. It is, in fact, one of the dimmest, so we'll need to enlist help from some of the brighter stars in the area. Look first for the familiar and quite bright asterism known as the Big Dipper, or the Plow. It's quite distinctive. It looks like a ladle or a plowshare with a long handle. It has seven relatively bright stars that form this recognizable shape. Now, focus on the two stars that form the end of the bowl of the dipper, the two that are farthest from the handle. They are Merak and Duby, the pointer stars. Starting with the lower star, draw an imaginary line, a celestial arrow, extending outwards from Merak through Duby and continuing into the inky blackness. Travel along this imaginary line for roughly five times the distance that separates Duby from Mirak. And there, if the night is dark enough, you will find it. Polaris, the North Star. It may not be the brightest star in the heavens, but its significance is profound. For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, Polaris holds a seemingly fixed position in the sky, almost directly above the Earth's North Pole. As our planet spins on its axis, all the other stars appear to wheel around it in majestic arcs throughout the night. But Polaris, steadfast and true, remains a celestial anchor. Once you've found Polaris, you've essentially located the center of our celestial sphere as seen from the northern hemisphere. Now, imagine a circle drawn around Polaris, a circle large enough that any star within it never dips below the horizon. These are the circumpolar constellations. Because Polaris sits so close to the North Celestial Pole, these constellations appear to trace complete circles around it throughout the night. They are the steadfast companions in the northern sky, always there, always visible, unlike other constellations that rise in the east and set in the west. Among them, Cassiopeia, the W-shaped queen sitting regally in her throne, along with her king, Cepheus, forever circling Polaris. There's sinuous Draco, the winding dragon that seems to coil around the little dipper, whose handle ends with our guiding star. There's Ursa Minor itself, the little bear, with Polaris marking the tip of its tail, along with the very bright Big Dipper, a part of a much larger constellation, Ursa Major. These circumpolar constellations offer a sense of permanence in the ever-changing panorama of the night. While other celestial patterns make their grand entrance and exit with the seasons, these remain our constant northern neighbors. They are the familiar landmarks in our cosmic backyard, a comforting presence that connects us to the countless nights that have come before. Think of the generations who have looked to these stars for navigation, for a sense of direction across vast oceans and trackless lands. 
sailors, explorers, dreamers, they all found solace and guidance in its unwavering light. You too can share in this ancient connection. Learning to identify Polaris and these circumpolar constellations reveals the apparent motions of the stars around the pole. It is a direct consequence of our planet's daily rotation. So go outside on a clear night, find the Big Dipper, trace that imaginary line, and locate Polaris. Because it is circumpolar, you'll be able to do this at any time of the year. Let its steady light be a reminder that even in the vastness of the universe, there are points of constancy, and with them, always a way to find your bearings. Your Sky Tonight is produced by Deep Astronomy and made possible by members of this YouTube channel. Become a member of the oldest astronomy channel on YouTube.